Hey guys, so this week we're going to be talking about daily bags. And in the spirit of back to school time, I thought it'd be cool to take a look at the Herschel Pop Quiz. And so this is a bag that I've seen out and about for many years. It's been super popular. I've seen it on tons of different people. And I was always kind of curious about it just because it seemed very much like one of the old school Jansport backpacks that I would wear to school. So I managed to grab one a little while back and I've been testing this out. And so far as I've been using it, I can definitely see why it's been so popular. I've been very impressed with how much I can actually fit into this bag, how comfortable it's been to wear. And it has just the right amount of organization. It has some good padding to make it good for holding some heavy notebooks. And for anybody looking for a simple and stylish bag to take back to school or just to have a really cool versatile bag to walk around the city with, I think this is a great option. And so without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at the Herschel Pop Quiz. So starting out with the overall aesthetic of the bag, I really like the simple and classic look that the Pop Quiz has. The version that I have here is kind of an all black version. So you know I really love black bags, so this really spoke to me. But they seem to offer the Pop Quiz in any number of different patterns and color combinations. I've seen a lot of blue ones, gray ones. So they have all sorts of different styles that you can find on Amazon or on Herschel's site. But I was a big fan of the all black as soon as I saw this. One thing that I noticed that was pretty different about this version as compared to a lot of the other pop quizzes that I saw is that it doesn't have any of the leather accents that some of them have on the bottom and on the straps. I personally don't mind that. I wasn't ever crazy about having those accents on the bag. I kind of like this cleaner and simpler look. But that is something that can be found on a lot of them as well. But I really just like the overall aesthetic of the bag. I think the bag maintains a pretty slim profile even when it's full. If I had to guess, I would say it's about 18 to 20 liters carrying capacity. I've been really impressed with just how much I can actually hold in the bag. Just looking at it, it doesn't look that big. But I can see why it's been so popular for students over the past couple of years because I can definitely see myself fitting two to three textbooks in here along with my laptop pretty comfortably. So. Even though it looks pretty small, it's deceptive in the amount of stuff it can hold, which has been really impressive to see. The bag itself is made out of a durable feeling, I guess, polyester material. It seems to offer a fair amount of water resistance and like it's gonna hold up well over the long term. As I mentioned, carrying it with a lot of weight, like with books, might put a little bit of strain on the straps over many years of use. But for the most part, I haven't felt any fear as I've been carrying a good amount of weight on my back. And so what I have in the bag currently is all the other items that you've seen in my other daily bag videos. And that's usually a good amount of weight that I carry with me. So it's been a good indication of just what this bag would feel like for somebody like a student. But overall, as I've been wearing the bag, I really like how slim it manages to stay even when I filled it up a good amount. And when I just need something simple that offers a good amount of organization and a fair amount of space, this has been a really convenient bag to just grab and go. Looking at the zippers, I don't know if they're YKK, but they seem pretty sturdy. They seem to slide back and forth very easily. I do like that there is some water resistance offered on a few of the zippers, and there seems to be of being care to have lips that go over the zippers to help provide a little bit of extra protection so if you get caught in some rain this is definitely not a bag that i would want to get caught in like a huge downpour in the materials themselves i think would allow water to seep in if it was that much but for the most part it's been pretty good when i've been caught in like a light drizzle or something and i just pull out my umbrella or run undercover really quickly and so moving on to the straps in the back panel i've been really impressed with just how comfortable the straps themselves are they're really quite thick they have a lot of good padding they have some nice mesh material on the strap to help prevent buildup of moisture and provide some good airflow and they're just really soft and well padded so it's been really comfortable to wear this as I've had a good amount of weight on my back the back panel itself is very simple and just kind of a soft fabric material there's minimal padding here and there's almost no elevation so this is the one probably one of the bigger complaints with the bag is that it will have a lot of sweat buildup if you're wearing this on a hot day or with a lot of weight there's just not a lot of elevation or extra padding here it is pretty soft and it's not uncomfortable to wear but my back has gotten very sweaty as I've been wearing this and I just wish it would have just a little bit more padding to make it a little bit softer on your back as you're wearing this on a day to day with a lot of different weight. And so moving on to the pockets of the bag, I've been really impressed with the organizational options that the pop quiz offers. And I think the pockets are laid out in a really logical way. And I've been really happy with just how easy it is to access all the different stuff that I want to use during my daily carry. So just starting out with the quick access compartment here on the front, this is just a very simple quick access compartment. The zipper itself has a good amount of water resistance. This is the one zipper that's really kind of exposed. It doesn't have any sort of fabric lip covering it. So nice to see that Herschel added that water resistance here in case you want to put something a little bit more delicate. And this compartment is just really simple. There's no internal organization or anything like that. But I do like that it offers a good amount of space if you want to put something slightly bulkier in here. And so currently what I have in here is my Apple Magic Mouse. And then I also have my UTech wireless charger for my phone. 
And so there's still a good amount of leftover space in here. I, as I mentioned, this is a really simple pocket, no internal organization or anything like that, but just a great way to access anything you wanna be able to get to quickly. So nice implementation there. Behind that quick access compartment, there is a larger compartment that actually has a lot more organizational options. And so just starting out with the zippers, this one doesn't have that same water resistant coating that the front pocket has, but it does have this fabric lip that covers the zipper all the way around to help provide a little bit of protection against the elements. And so the zippers come around very easily. I'm not sure if these zippers, as I mentioned, are YKK, but they still feel pretty good quality. They slide very easily and they seem to have held up well so far. And so just looking into this pocket, as I mentioned, it's a little bit bigger than the compartment we just looked at. This has a lot more internal organizational options and it offers a good amount of space as well. So if you have bulkier items, this is another place where it might be able to fit well. Currently what I have in here, the first thing I'm gonna pull out is my iPad mini 2. So one thing about the backpack that I was a little disappointed is that there is no dedicated tablet slot. There's not you know, any padded or fleece lined pocket for the tablet itself. And so because that's something that I typically access a little bit more regularly than other items, I put it here in this front compartment that I can reach quickly. And it fits in here very comfortably. It's just that there's not a lot of protection. So just something to note, but I really like that I'm able to fit it here. This would also be a great place for a notebook or your Kindle or something like that. So a lot of different variety that you can use with the amount of space that's allotted here. I also really like the inner lining. It's got this red and white bright lining, which is something that's very common in Herschel bags. And it looks really nice, makes it easy to see into the pocket and see where all your different items are stored. And so next up here on this organizer compartment, the bag has a few different slots for pencils and styluses and things like that. So currently what I have in here is just a stylish slash laser pointer combo. And then I have my aluminum spork from Tokes. And then I just have a simple pen that I like to carry with me, a backup sometimes. So it's nice that they have a few different options there as this is a bag that seems to be very geared towards students. It's nice to see that they have slots for all the different things that students might wanna carry. As I mentioned, pencils. Here there's a few smaller slip pockets where you could put something like a small phone. The first one here in the middle has a Velcro enclosure to help keep it a little bit more secure. And so this, as I mentioned, would be a great spot for something like a phone or a mouse, maybe a portable battery. And behind that, there's a slightly taller slip compartment. This one doesn't have the Velcro closure, so it's just a normal slip pocket. Again, this would have been a perfect spot for my Magic Mouse as well, or a portable battery. And so I do like the organization here. The one thing to note is that the pockets are really on top of each other. So once you use one of them for a particular item, I'm skeptical that you could actually use all three. So I guess it just depends on what size item you're gonna be putting into this pocket. The only way I could see you possibly being able to use all of them is if you use this for something like business cards or sticky notes or something like that. So just something to keep in mind, but it's nice that you have a few different options here and how you can separate your stuff. On the other side of this compartment, there's a mesh zipper pocket. So this one's a little bit bigger and I like that it's mesh so that you can actually see what's in here. And I also like that it has the zipper so you have a little bit more security if your bag happens to flip or something like that. This could be a great place to put smaller dongles, memory cards, maybe some coins or something like that. So just a really versatile pocket and it's, it's really great just how well this bag allows you to keep all your different smaller items separated. And at the very back, there's just kind of a big catch-all compartment here where you can put anything else that doesn't fit into these smaller compartments or if you just want to separate things out in this pocket a little bit more. So currently what I have here is my Blue Pop portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank, and that fits in there very nicely. But this might also be a good place to put a small notebook or some cables. And then in this area, there is also a keychain loop, which is really nice as well. And so this is just a pretty simple plastic clip. The loop itself is very short, so you definitely have to detach whatever keys you have attached here if you want to use them. So I wish there was a little bit of a longer lanyard here, but not a big deal overall. And currently what I have here is my Gerber shard, which I love carrying with me no matter where I go. And then I just have this kind of quirky little flashlight and bottle opener combo that I found laying around in one of my other bags. So just thought I'd carry that around for a few days. And so overall, this front organizational compartment has been really useful. I've been really impressed with how well it's allowed me to keep all my items in their place. And I like that it provides you the space to fit some bigger and bulkier items if you don't want to necessarily use all the smaller slip compartments. So really nice implementation there. Next up, I want to talk about the bags quick access compartment at the top. And so much like companies like Air have gotten really good at including quick access compartments, I really love that this bag has something similar. And so the compartment itself 
is pretty well sealed by the fabric. As you can see here, the zipper is pretty hidden. It doesn't have any actual water resistance. So it's nice that at least the fabric itself kind of covers it to add a little bit of protection. I do wish it had a similar seal to the one on the front to offer that extra bit of protection as this is pretty exposed, but they do try to mitigate that with the fabric covering itself. And so this opens really easily. And this is one of my favorite compartments in any bag as it's so easy to just reach down and access when your bag is on the floor or something. And I really love how Herschel has implemented their quick access compartment here it has a good amount of space I can definitely put all the items that I would normally want to put in a compartment like this so currently what I have is my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case and then I also have my lightning cable for my phone and what I really love about this compartment is that it has a really soft fleece lining to help prevent against scratching. So if you wanna put your phone or your sunglasses in here without a case, they're gonna be really well protected. This lining is really soft and it definitely feels like it's gonna prevent scratching. I love that you can pull it out as well if you wanna clean it up, if you have a little bit of dirt buildup or anything like that. And I really love the overall capacity of the pocket. As you can see, it can almost fit my full hand in here. So I just really love how they've implemented this pocket here. One thing to note is that the Compartment does take a little bit of space from the main compartment, as we'll see in a little bit. So that's typically the case with quick access compartments such as these. But I haven't noticed that to be a big issue just due to how much space the main compartment actually offers. And so moving on to the main compartment, this bag is a really simple top loader. So it doesn't open clamshell or anything like that. The zipper here is very similar to the one on the quick access compartment. So it doesn't have any specific water resistance protection on the zipper itself, but it does have this fabric lip that covers it to help keep water away from the zippers and to help keep the items inside dry. And so again, it opens very easily and Opening this compartment up, it's a very simple but very spacious compartment. I've been really impressed, as I mentioned, at how much I've actually been able to fit in here. On the inside, you can see it has that really nice red and white lining that makes it very easy to see everything that's on the inside and that's very typical in the Herschel bags that I've seen. And I really like that much like the OnePlus travel backpack, this is just kind of a really big bucket on the inside and it just makes it very easy to see everything at once and it offers just a ton of space which is really impressive. Even with the items that I typically carry on a day-to-day -day basis, there's still a little bit of leftover space here. I think I'd be able to fit a pair of gym clothes in here or a towel or maybe a pair of shoes. So just a great amount of space overall and great design here in the main compartment. And so just diving into the items that I currently have in here, first up I have my Beats Solo Wireless 2. And then next up, I have my water bottle compartment. I forgot to mention earlier that that's one kind of small complaint that I have about this bag is that it doesn't have an external water bottle compartment. So I don't fully like that I have to put the bottle in within the main compartment where the laptop and everything else is located. That's always a little bit scary for me. I could probably clip this onto one of the straps with a carabiner, but I would have liked to have seen an outer water bottle compartment where I could have put something like this. But overall, it's not a really big deal. And as you see, there's plenty of space to actually put that on the inside. And then next up, I have my GORUCK wire dop, which has been my organizer of choice recently for all kind of my cables and dongles and things like that. And then I also have a full-size moleskin notebook. And then the textbook that I've been using for work recently. Then I also have a folder for receipts or any other important papers that I might have. And then I also have my Levitate portable standing desk, which I love carrying with me every day. And so as you can see, now that the compartment is a little bit more empty, it's just kind of a really big bucket. There's not a lot of internal organization or anything like that. And there's just a lot of space. I've been, I really love just how kind of wide the bag comes out. It's just that perfect balance of not coming out so wide that it makes everything look bulky. It still manages to look slim, but there's just a good amount of space for any bigger items that I want to include in here. So really great job there. And so the last thing I want to talk about here is the laptop compartment. And this is probably my favorite part of the bag. Of all the backpacks that I've looked at, this is one of the best implemented laptop compartments that I've seen, which I did not expect. I was really impressed with just how well it manages to keep my device protected. I really love how thick the padding on it is. I love that both sides have a really nice soft fleece lining, very similar to the fleece lining found in the quick access compartment. As I mentioned earlier, the quick access compartment here is located on the inside. You can see just how much that volume comes in there. So I really love just how well protected the laptop is. The fleece lining definitely feels like it's gonna help keep the laptop protected from scratches. One thing I absolutely love about this laptop compartment is it's elevated off the bottom. So that's super important to me for any laptop compartment is that it makes sure to keep my laptop off the ground so that if I put it down or if I drop it or something like that, it keeps the laptop protected. So I really love to see that the laptop compartment here is pretty elevated and it also has a good amount of padding on the bottom of the compartment. So it's kind of double protection there. I also love that it has this kind of 
elastic material on the sides, it really allows you to use this for multiple different device type sizes. So currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro, but you can definitely fit a 15 inch laptop in here. I don't think you can fit a 17 inch laptop in here, unfortunately, so 15 would definitely be the biggest that I recommend. But my 13 inch MacBook Pro fits in here very comfortably. And I do think that you could fit a wider laptop in here just because of how much the laptop compartment comes out. As I mentioned, it has that elastic on the side. But regardless of the device size, I really love that it offers protection all around the laptop and on the bottom. So of all the laptop compartments I've seen, this has been one of my favorites and one of the reasons that I've really kind of started to use this a little bit more regularly on my day to day and to go to work and things like that. Because this is the type of laptop compartment that definitely makes me feel like I don't need to have an additional sleeve to make sure that my device is protected. So for any students that you know are on a limited budget and they really want to make sure that their laptop is protected and don't want to buy an additional case, this would definitely be a great option to look at and I'm just really impressed with how great of a job they did here on the laptop compartment. And so overall, I've been really impressed with the Herschel Pop Quiz. I've definitely enjoyed using this as my day-to-day -day bag for the past couple of weeks, and I can definitely see why it's become such a popular bag over the years. I really love the simple style. I've been impressed with just how comfortable it's been to wear, and I really think it has the perfect balance of size and capacity. It manages to be a nice compact size, but it can hold a deceptively large amount of stuff. So really impressive overall. You can purchase this bag on Amazon, and the price range on these seems to vary a good amount just based on the different color combinations that they offer. So it goes anywhere from $60 to $80 from what I've seen. And you can also purchase these from Herschel's website. And at $60 to $70, I feel like it's a pretty reasonable price for the amount of features, organization, and style that the bag has to offer. You know, Herschel has become a really popular brand and offers some really stylish bags. They also offer a limited lifetime warranty to protect against defects. So even though the materials used throughout the bag aren't necessarily the highest quality, it does feel like it's gonna hold up pretty well over the long term, especially if you don't put it through any extreme sort of use cases. And so although I think this is a pretty reasonable price, considering the features and quality and style of the bag, there are a lot of other great options kind of in this price range that may offer either a better quality, more organization, or maybe a little bit more style depending on your preferences. So Incase has a lot of great bags in this price range, such as the Incase City Compact, and even something like the Incase Icon Slim, which has varied in price for a little while, but it's also a really versatile bag that offers great style. Timbuktu also has some really great bags in this price range, such as the Timbuktu Q Backpack, the Timbuktu Showdown, or even something like the Timbuktu Ace, which we reviewed a few weeks ago here on the channel. And so all those bags are also kind of in the $60 to $70 price range. Another good alternative to this bag would be something with the OnePlus Travel Backpack, which we also looked at here on the channel a little while back. That's another great bag that has a good amount of comfort, style, and organization. And I still prefer the Pop Quiz a little bit over the OnePlus Travel Backpack just because I feel like it's gonna be a little bit sturdier and I like that it has a little bit better laptop protection, but both bags are really great options in a very similar price range. So definitely recommend you check that out as well. But overall, I've definitely enjoyed using the Herschel Pop Quiz during my day to day. I think it's provided just the right amount of space and organization and I really like kind of the style. It seems to blend well into a lot of different environments and work well with a lot of outfits. And it's definitely a bag I see myself using a lot in the future and I can definitely see why it's been so popular for the past couple of years. So if you guys have any questions, about this bag or any of the other bags that I mentioned that this compares well with, please go ahead and drop a comment below. And if you guys found this video useful, please go ahead and give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.